creating equipment materials. So different types of monsters drop different types of stuff. So if you if you specifically want to go for destroyer, hunt, hunt that type of monster. You know, and here's a mammoth. And you can see that he drops, you know, dominator equipment. So the type of monster you're going after will drop different stuff. And some of them are speed up monsters, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. There's also um epic monsters and, and rares and stuff like that. So there you go. Like this is destroyer. Okay. Anyway, you get the idea. That's that. There's your help menu. You see the bottom left hand corner, right where it was near search? When you want to help your friends, click there. Alliance. Research. This is your alliance research. Okay? It's going to be really important for you and your alliance to, um, maybe we can begin this? Can we? Sweet. We can begin this. Cool. You do research, and then when you speed it up, you're going to see that, um, you know, you need to use speed ups. Otherwise, you have to wait some time. No. Yes. All right. So there we go. Now, when you donate, blah, 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 anyway, you get it. That's alliance research. Alliance research is important. Take care of it. Um, then there's the alliance dragon. Okay, this guy, he's also important. But in order to level him up, you got to donate junk. So you click donate, and you basically send resources. Okay? You know, just whatever. Just send. And then um, it's going to, you know, send resources and level him up. And under your traits, you can add points. So you'll see that, that we're kind of a new alliance. Uh, I'm making excuses. And that we don't have many points. Maybe an older alliance will have a lot of points. But anyway, there you go. Uh, so you've got to level up your dragon. You've got to level up your alliance research. These are important. Be on them. Donate. Get them done. Um, last and most importantly is your packages. You've got a seven-day $1 shield. Use it. You don't need to fight. You're not going to come in as day one and start you know, killing people and robbing stuff. The game is going to progress very fast without having to do that. And I'm going to show you exactly how. Let's go back in our city. So as you're leveling up stuff, you're going to have these quests over here on the left-hand side. Bottom left corner is quests, and there's going to be challenges. And when you complete a challenge, it's going to give you like a kickback. See? You click on it, you get a reward. And you basically just follow these little quests, and you just keep going through them. And, I mean, you're, you're going to... Basically, you probably won't even need to farm, and you're going to level up really fast. Just, you know, do the quests, get the rewards, stuff like that. Okay, so hopefully this covers the basics of how to just get started, the mini games, you know, basic stuff in Iron Throne. I'm not going to cover like, hey, how do, I, how do I upgrade my stronghold? No, you click on it, you click upgrade, you click on the dependency, etc., etc., etc. So that's how you do that. So, I mean, this is, this is stuff that that you should know, and if you don't know, well then you'll probably go back to Pokemon. But, um, okay, last thing, pro tip. These events, right hand corner, okay, you see this? Below the sale, it says ends in, you know, certain period of time. These events, watch them. Right now, construct buildings. This is my solo event. I get points for constructing buildings and training troops. So during these events, you want to do specific things. Watch them. Inferno event, same thing. Training troops and um, pillaging resources or opening them. And the alliance event, um, yeah, so for the alliance event, you basically need to do this stuff. Same concept. Um, once a week, they have raids. For the raid, if you want high damage, here we go, this guy starts in 24 hours. For this raid, you want to buy the raid equipment set. It's $50. Without it, you're not going to do any any damage. Free players, I'm so sorry, but it's a free event, but you're not going to win it. If you don't if you don't spend the $50 for the equipment, you're just not going to win. Tough cookies, that's life, you know, whatever. It requires a lot of stamina and it requires raid equipment. But the raid equipment isn't expensive, so there you go. You teleport into it fast and you hit it over and over and over again for an hour. That's it. Um okay. So that's the basics. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Maybe. This 
This temple allows you to revive troops. I've already lost a whole bunch and revived them, but when you lose troops, you can come in here and revive them too. It's super cheap. Everything below T6 is super cheap to revive. Um, let's see here. Anything else that you guys might be interested in in terms of quickie tips? You can excavate some troops. Huh. I don't know what this is. Maybe I have troops ex excavated already. I have no idea. Um, so... Huh. Did that just give me more troops? Maybe. Let's see here. Huh. Cool. So there we go. I didn't realize I had some troops hidden in there. But what you do for that is that is like if you know that you're going to get hit one day, this is like your backup plan. You know, you can, you know, excavate some troops, hide them in there, and then after you're done being attacked and you can shield, you just bring them out again. You see? So that's that. I've never used it before. So, um, 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 um. Here's the prison. You're going to need this later on for killing, uh, killing enemy troops. And then after you kill them, you come in here and you're going to, uh, you're going to get buffs. So I don't have any right now. They're not activated. I haven't killed any, uh, any heroes in a bit. Oh yeah, heroes. Uh, heroes are here. So for heroes, you're basically going to, you know, assign your equipment. Don't worry about having a lot of heroes at first. Probably just start out with like monster hunt, you know, mon monster hunting. Monster hunting, you know, construction, research, and defense. Four heroes, level them up, it's good enough, focus on them, get that, that you know, that base started. Um, there's a $50 pack for training troops. I think that's going to be... Uh, which one is training troops? So Maria is assigned to that. Yeah. So this one. So this set is going to give you troop training bonus. So normally you would um, the the treasurer would be for like gathering type stuff, but you can abuse it by putting the um, the hero for. Um, Basically, you can just put the treasure bonus, the, the tra troop training gear on the treasure bonus, and then I'll give you a troop training bonus. Uh, questions, questions, questions. Yeah, I think this is going to be the longest, quickest way that I can run through everything, but um, watch this, send this to your friends, make sure people see this video if you're new to Iron Throne. Watch it real quick. It'll help you get started and, you know, orientated because... This game, I mean, four mini, mini games and, and all this extra stuff and heroes and... Yeah, it gets confusing. So this is the basics. Um, don't worry if you mess up stuff, like your heroes can be reset. Um, you know, if your hero gets captured and executed, don't worry about that stuff. You, it'll, you know, there, this game is very forgiving in terms of, of recovering and healing and reviving troops and stuff. Just play and have fun. It's a really awesome game. So, okay. Love you guys. Bye-bye for now.